Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. I'm telling you, this is a great card. That whole think about and bring about, folks, it's real, man. You just, just do it, man. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now. But it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, up 77. NASDAQ up 98. S&P's up 18. Gold contract up $3.50 trading at 18.01 an ounce. We have silver up 34 cents trading at a price point of 23.27. Oil, oil down 38 cents, $71.62 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note trading down 23 ticks, 114.13. The 30-year down 21 at 131 flat, and king dollar. King dollar is down to 321 ticks, trading out at 104.779. Euro is at 105, yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we have ABC structures. It's setting up a potential ABC structure down on the daily. We have an ABC down on the monthly. So the bottom line, here you go, man. The bottom line, you know, we come down hard. You come down with 77 million shares. You're going up with 42 million here. That doesn't fly. And what's also happening on top of that is it doesn't look like you're going to hold the highs of yesterday, which is just more bearish. That's the bottom line. Now, if you set up the ABC down, you got the, the A point on this is 410. The B point is uh, 390. So you get 391. You get 19 points. If the C point is today, we're dealing with, uh, what, uh, 97, 87, 70, 78, 378. The gap is 381. We're going to the gap, man. The gap's game. That gap is game. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? Three Qs. Three Qs right now. Bottom line, you're up. Uh, now, the difference is this is kind of, this is, well, bottom line, we, we get out, we down with 53 million. You're up today with 33. Now, the difference of the three Qs has held over the high of yesterday. Now, we'll see if that sh shakes out into close, but I, we'll see. It's 282.57. So now what's going on, which is really wild, is that you actually have the, the Qs are actually a little bit stronger than the S&P right now. We'll see where it shakes out, but it is what it is. Gold. Gold contract. I don't like what's happening here, folks. And this has been held up, man. I mean, in a big way. But I, you know, when you go up on 108,000 contracts, not cool. You know, let me see what we did yesterday. Yeah, yesterday you did 156,000 contracts. Today with 108. The high of yesterday was 1803.20. Uh, we went to 1806. You're at 1801. That's not a good scene, man. That's just not a good scene. So, and it, when we put all of this together, it's gonna, that's saying to me somehow, some way, this dollar is going to go to higher price. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, we take a look at the dollar. The dollar's you know cooperating today, and the, really, I mean, the dollar's down 319 ticks. And, you know, if we go back to the S&P, let's just look at this for a second because we'll go intraday. The S&P the had got all the way up to the price point of uh, 39.77. Okay, so you've given up 18 points in the S&P. And let's see what we have here. So, yeah, you get a high volume low. That high volume low that's laying out there from uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, that's, it's going to go after that high volume low. That high volume low is 10 points uh, lower than where we are right now. So, not a great setup. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, because it's gonna be a low volume market out here today. You have uh, Tesla is uh, down 54 cents. You got Amazon up a buck 95. Uh, Nvidia's up uh, 8.95. That's got some action underneath it. That's probably putting the juice into um, the NDX 100. You have, uh, in fact, let's go look at that. So we look at the NDX 100. What's moving this NDX? So you got Datadog, that's up 9%. You got Pindoldu up 5%, and NVIDIA up 5.5. Taken away from it, T-Mobile's down 2.6.
You got Palo Alto down 1.9, and you got Activision off uh, 1.3. So the bottom line is that, uh, you know, there's this challenges out here, man. My take is that uh, the Grinch is going to be here in, instead of Santa Claus. That's what this looks like. Let's go take a look at uh, an Eco Eagle for a couple of the Tigers out here. That's AEM and an Eco Eagle right now. So let's see. So the low for an Eco Eagle is 36 for the year. The high is 67. Next time they come out with the numbers is July, uh, is February 24th. Okay. So last week you had a nice high at 52.54. And we did that with 4.9 million. Yeah, and you get, let's see this, look at this, man. You get 4.9 million, and it made a high. And today we tested that high, 1.5 million. And yeah, it's not even close. Let me put this on a weekly. It's, it's, listen, man, in the gold market right now, you know, to me, the broad market is, is pretty cut and dry, meaning that this wants ABC structure down. The, the gold equities, they had a huge run. I mean, if you look at AEM, you know, in the, in the matter of uh, eight weeks, we just went from 39, you know, to 55. But I'd say that, yeah, I mean, if you, you own that right now, I'd take bread off the table, man. You know, if I'm, if I'm wrong, yeah, it's a bummer and the thing goes higher. But my, my take right now is that these gold equities, um, they've been holding up. As, as this is what I was talking about yesterday, too. They're holding up at... When they don't hold up, which there's too many of them that have got at highs and they just can't get higher and there's low volume up there and they're pulling back. So a natural retracement is a 0.382 retracement after you've had such an expansion. Because if you've been in this market, if you've been in the gold market, I mean, it was, it was huge. You know, this, this last run was huge, man. I mean, you know, it's been laying flat for three or four weeks. But if you caught the run up and... Plenty of us did. I mean, it was a monster freaking move. So we'll see where it shakes out. But my take is that you better be really careful and, you know, put stops in, man. Dow Industrials right now up 105, NASDAQ up 110, S&P's up 22. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.